we doing, Baron? Well, I'll better on me. doing today? Uh, today we're doing administrative duties for My Brother's Keeper TV, which basically is us trying to figure out how we're going to make this look like a million bucks with no money. No bucks. With no bucks. So we're going to have to trust God to class it up. As always. <laughs> but we're going to do it. God said so. Right now we're going to go to Doug's uh, mailbox wherever that is. He's not like Ohio. He didn't keep his mailbox in his house. And, uh, we're going to find a gold brick in there, which we'll probably have to wait 10 to 15 days to exchange from bullion. <laughs> but that's okay. It's all good. Hopefully it's American bullion. American. We don't have an exchange problem with European bullion. Right. In the intersection, right on the yellow. Minute. We're gonna need to get one lane over when you can, but not over in a hurry. Track. Behind the white van. Okay, that's it. How about now? Yep. So we're following a white van. We're on the Kansas City side. No, nope, straight on. There's a Walmart. And uh, this is where the homeless guys usually hang out in Liberty and fly their signs at this intersection up here. Because on this side of the bridge you're on Kansas City. And uh, Kansas City is pretty lenient on panhandling. On that side of the bridge you're at Liberty and they will immediately run you off or pick you up. Really? Immediately. Those are city ordinances. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a little st a strand of trees right down there there's almost always a camp in the middle of right. where they'll spend the night down there in the trees and then walk up to the highway and panhandle or they'll park their car down there and then uh, come up panhandle and go home, make $100 a day. We're going to go left here. At that intersection they can make $100 a day? Uh, it looks like it was moving pretty quick. This intersection's all bad. I fly a sign right there. Oh, it's all bad. I'm going to jail. Uh, get harassed. Okay, cool. I mean, I, I don't mind getting harassed. They probably won't bother with you, but they'll run you for warrants uh, for sure and hold you if somebody's going to come get you. And uh, How far are we away from the jailhouse here? About a mile and a half from downtown. So it'll be a nice air conditioned ride for a mile and a half. <laughs> well, yeah, then you get to... Because they're not going to run it all here. They're going to take me there. Uh, well, they might They might just pull over in the parking lot and run you and see. Or... Yeah, but I'm not going to walk over there, so I'm going to make them mad. And run me in. Yeah, yeah. probably be okay and uh, even if you were like a youth group selling candy or a softball team or whatever like that on that side of the highway you're fine on this side of the highway you're in trouble can you, can you obtain a soliciting license? yeah there actually is a panhandling license in Kansas City right. you pay like 80 bucks for um, left that right there, right there, right there, right there. The UPS store, I know where we're going. Where'd you go? You have a Baskin Robbins? Yeah, next to the UPS store. Oh. Conveniently located for Baron. No, I'm not allowed. But oh. God said I can find my But he didn't tell me, but I couldn't ask you. Oh, I can, I, can, I, can, I can buy you some ice cream. Just go get free samples of everything. Right. Okay, we'll be back after the ice cream. That is the third 
now hiring sign I seen. I know. If you're a cake decorator. Bowman. Okay, where are we, Doug? Oh, we're sitting next to the Baskin Robbins, right next to the UPS store in Liberty. We just went to check the mail. Um, most of the ministry mail goes to the to the PO box here. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's where we are. Right, we're out uh, gathering things to do my brother's keeper. And the Lord facilitated the rent for the, that was due yesterday yep. uh, to take one more thing off of your plate. Well, one of the landlords was pretty serious um, with uh, one of the townhouses was due yesterday on Sunday on my birthday. And uh, this was sent on the 11th, so it was probably there yesterday. <laughs> right. I just uh, hadn't gone to get it. So I can't say God was late because I just haven't checked the mail in the box for a couple of days. But this is postmarked the 11th from East Texas. And uh, it's just uh, just a letter. There's a... Uh, handwritten, not Handwritten. Typed. Handwritten. I don't... There's no name on it. And uh, um, inside... A blank piece of there's paper. There's a letter. There's, yeah, there's a letter. It says nothing. It says, thanks, God. Nothing. And money order for $1,000. Which is exactly, exactly what you needed. What I need to give that So the Lord has provided the rent money and a human tripod to interview you. How about that? See, I the Lord told me on the way out here this trip that... I thought I was going to be doing a lot of uh, on that side of the camera and then the Lord just told me as we was walking out no we got a lot of YouTube videos of Doug interviewing himself or just basically stating things and it's kind of boring so you don't get to ask the questions Lord gets me to ask the questions when you opened that up and seen that it was exactly did the Lord tell you exactly what that was for um, no as it happens I've seen money come from this address before. Right, so you kind of knew? Uh, no. Uh, that's um, that's probably ten times any check <laughs> I've ever seen from that address before. And um, Well, it's so, not even a check. It's a money order. It's a money order. That's, that's so, good money right yeah. now. And, and uh, I'm real humbled by the people that are out there sacrificing. Right for what God's doing here. And um, I get emails all the time from folks that feel like they're growing, they're hearing God better, they're maybe hearing something they've been wanting to hear and can't find anybody saying it in the church anywhere. And, and um, it says that the workman's worthy of his hire and that that uh, if, if someone is your spiritual teacher, they have a, a right to a material reward. And, and if they are a good teacher... If, if they are hearing God good, if they have a big cup of Jesus, the material reward that they're going to end up with doesn't mean that they're going to get a big screen TV and a bass boat. Uh, it means that they're going to spend it back into the kingdom as fast as they possibly can. How, how fast are you going to spend that back into the oh, kingdom? Oh, it'll be gone real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'll be gone real quick. So you're hearing where to go to the bank right now and yeah. call him and apologize that it's a day late and maybe, maybe tell him, I'm sorry I didn't go check my my mail yesterday because yep. I should have had it yesterday and the this Lord provided not I wasn't I wasn't obedient for whatever this, this is a landlord who's a real estate attorney <laughs> yeah who, the one who will sue yeah oh who who has basically said I'm not gonna charge you late fees I'm not gonna take you to court after he took us to court a couple of times and the Lord provided at midnight before the sheriff was coming at 9 a.m. the next morning right he said you know I'm gonna have to rethink this whole God thing because this is working for you Sweet. And he says, I hate church, but I like you guys. Cool. And uh, so we just kind of got a handshake and, and uh, you know, that he's not going to take us to court. He's not going to charge us late fees. Just pay me when you can. If you get too far behind, you know, we'll have to do something about it. But, you know, um, you know, it's um, this will help a lot. You know, we got a couple of landlords right now we're two, three months behind with. And some of that is because of... Uh, 
folks folks not obeying, people here maybe not contributing what they should or whatever, but but God's faithful to, to make a way and to, you know, folks at the house are contributing. One of, uh, one of the kids working at Arby's just came and gave me $100 out of his check um, earlier today. So we got some PayPal's yesterday amounted to $86 or something like that. But uh, this is a big deal. You know, I mean, this is really a big deal. And, not necessarily because of the dollar amount, but but what it what. what well, I, I believe it's sacrificial on the other end of this. Oh, There's sure. someone that I want the Lord to bless. Right. A lot, a lot for yeah. listening to the Lord. Yeah. And how cool is it that He's faithful and just to do that. He's he faithful is. and just to do that. He is. So he is. with that, we're off to the bank to pay the rent. And that's one less thing you have to worry about today. Yep. God is good, isn't he? Yep. Two rents. Two rents. Okay. Today. This is the part where you do your little advertisement at the end, Doug, where you say, more at? <laughs> more at fellowshipofthemartyrs.com, libertydisasterrelief.com. And while you're at it, go ahead and check my brother's keeper at mybk.tv. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>